Okay, today I thought we'd play with a couple more heel toe locking robots. Um, let's see. The Iron Man heel toe walker. Maybe I should move in a little closer. Because they're not very big. Yeah, the box is dated 2010 and all this writing, if you care to read that. And of course it was the display front, the type where the robot sits in a cradle. Also comes with a gun accessory there. Armor charge. Iron Man. See if there's anything else on here that might be of interest to anybody. Don't know. It has, like I say, the heel to a walking action, meaning it's a shuffle walker and that the legs move like this, but it has free rolling wheels on the heel and rubber pads in the toes. And when the foot moves forward, it lifts the toe up. And when it reaches where it's going, the toe goes down on the opposite thing that happens in the other foot. So, this one operates on two AAA batteries. It actually moves along quite quickly and has a really nice stepping action. It has the blinking eye in the Iron Man face and swinging arms. I mean, it's, it's really a, a well-built robot toy. It's quiet. I like that. Let's see if there's any writing anywhere, anything we want to see. I don't see anything appearing on the screen. This was just a Try Me card, which I've never taken off, because this is a uh, switch. So when it was in the box, it did come with batteries, and you'd push that button, and you could see the thing operating. Very cool. Now this is a heel-toe walker as well. So you can see we have the free spinning wheels in the back and the rubber grips on the front. It was made in China. It has uh, moving arms, moving legs, moving head, flashing lights, head in the guns, um, sound effects, annoying ones, you know, like the drop the gun, I'm gonna fire and all that kind of stuff. Not a whole lot of information here. It is a uh, very inexpensive toy. Somewhere on here there was the price. It's $3.50. And um, boy, how do you get your whole $3.50 worth because it's not working. It's making sounds, but not, not running. So you got all the uh, blinking lights and the same sound chip that we've heard in so many other toys. So I thought, for the heck of it, we'd... Uh, Quickly pull some screws, see if we could give the motor a boost, and if we can, uh, if we can rotate the motor, if it's just a gummed up motor from sitting for so many years, then great, it will run. It has uh, two AA batteries in the back, which isn't bad considering all of the uh, LEDs that it's flashing, the sound chip, and a motor. I think we got one more to go. Okay, so there's that. Now let's see if we can split the front off. Hopefully some of this is on camera. I can't look at the camera and do this at the same time. Plus my fingers are numb because it's cold out here. Okay, so having a look at the guts inside, you can see the speakers up in the chest, two wires of that. There's wires that have to run to each arm for the flashing LEDs there. Wires that go up in the head. Here we can actually see the two contacts to the motor, so we know the motor is facing down. If it's facing down in the way these gears here are vertical, that means there must be a worm gear on the end of that motor. And if I can reach into that little teeny slot there, if I can get in there, we're going to see if we can get the motor started. So let's switch it on. And try to rotate the worm gear. Oh, look, the gears are running. We've got walking action. Let's, let's see. Oh, yeah. we got a moving head. We've got... Uh, We've got arms 
We can get the camera angle right. Arms that link into the moving leg upper parts. That's what makes the arms move, the head move off that same lever. So now the trick would be to uh, get it all put together. <laughs> Which uh, would be a pretty good trick while it's making all of its noise. I don't know whether it's worth uh, continuing to run the, uh, the video for me to stick it back together. Obviously I'm going to put it back together. It's real simple. I'm going to pull the wires back and that's the only thing that stopped me from slopping the front back on right now is I don't want to pinch any wires. So there you have it. Inside and outside of the Universal Fighter number no. 4 and Fen Young, $3.50, not bad. It did run once we gave the motor a little push and I'm sure it probably ran when it was new. It's just the motor sitting like that, the grease gums up and the commentator brushes and sometimes you got to give them a little boost to get things going again. And the wonderful uh, Iron Man armor charge. Man, that thing works great. It's really smooth. It's quiet. Loved it.